My name is Isaiah Larte and I'm an 8th grader at Ultra Mill Middle School. Today, we're comparing different gym memberships to learn about the systems of equation. It makes it a lot more interesting to actually use real world stuff. It can help to just like actually apply it. I'm Amar Gibson, a sophomore here at Riverwood International High School. And today we were learning knife skills by cutting different vegetables into different style cuts. If I was to become a professional chef, these are the kind of cuts I would be making. Today we are learning how to write a small moment story by writing stories that happened to me in my life. I'm Chase Hubbard. We are currently learning about ancient civilizations by creating a cereal box that displays their characteristics. So I actually really enjoyed making it. It's better to do more of a hands-on project. I really liked it. In the 1800s, learning and teaching were limited to the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. This would change, however, in 1898, when Superintendent R.J. Gunn introduced a new program of studies called manual training, which included gardening, animal husbandry, woodworking, sewing, and even basket making. Practical subjects meant to prepare students for life on farms and in their homes after the years of schooling were over. By the middle of the 20th century, an unprecedented expansion of educational programs brought to the classroom courses in bookkeeping, stenography, industrial arts, and even commercial law. In fact, Fulton County Schools was one of the first districts in the country to receive funds through the National Defense Education Act of 1958, legislation designed to elevate instruction in math, sciences, and foreign languages skills needed for a generation growing up in the shadow of the Cold War. To meet the demands of a student body that was growing and becoming more diverse, Fulton County Schools established more specialized methods for learning and teaching. Courses for students with special needs, first offered in the 1960s, were the vanguard to both the talented and gifted program and services for exceptional children. As we look back over the last century and a half, there have been dramatic changes in the way students learn. Whether it's geography or journalism, physics or fine arts, the many subjects studied by the students of Fulton County today could not even have been imagined by students long ago.